Hello everybody, this is R.K. Brown. I'm making this video because I ran into a problem in the last few days that I bet a good many of you have run into as well, and so I thought I would give you a workaround. It's not a direct solution to the problem, but it is a solution, and it's a good solution. It's a good workaround. The problem is that I record videos with OBS, and I record the MKV format because I learned from a guy named Epos Vox who has a really good OBS tutorial channel that you record to MKV and then if something happens like if OBS crashes or if you hit the stop recording button and for some reason it doesn't stop recording and you finally have to shut down the program well if you record directly to an MP4 then you will lose that work but if you record to a MKV file then the work will stay intact and then you can just, you know, put it in editing software and add to it with other video. But then what you do is remux the file. There's a there's a thing in the in the file uh, deal up at the top of OBS here. When you go to file and you click on in OBS, it will say remux file. And you just remux that into an MP4 and then that file will open up in DaVinci Resolve 14 with video intact. I had a problem where I was recording directly to MP4 and then I would open it up in DaVinci Resolve and it wouldn't show video. So for whatever reason, this seems to be a good way to get DaVinci Resolve to show video. However, the audio from these videos, even after you remux, the audio is terrible. I don't know why. It has to do with the... I guess it has to do with the MP4 format and the H250, the H264, sorry, H264 um, codec that DaVinci Resolve doesn't really like it. So check out this audio. You'll hear it through my microphone, but you should be able to hear it pretty well. It is very jittery and choppy. Check it out. Hello, everybody. This is R.K. Brown. I normally do a Bible study on this channel, but I thought I might make a video that will help people because I've had this struggle for a week or so and I figured out a way to solve the problem. It just hit me yesterday. Okay, so you can hear that that audio is just choppy and terrible, right? Unusable. So, I came up with a workaround. Oh, let's see. I'm, I need to do something here first. So I go to VLC, which is a really amazing app, I'm sure as many of you know, and I come down here to convert. And I open up my, I always, I always uh, extract the audio from the uh, MKV file. I guess you could do it from the MP4, but I like to do it from the original file, even though there should be no difference. Only the container is changed when you uh, remux from MKV to MP4. Anyway, so I go to audio MP3. I come over here to audio. And if you tell it to keep original audio track, for some reason that hasn't worked for me, so basically I just do this. I just tell it to render it to a 320 MP3 file. Then I uh, go and put it, it's going to go in the same folder. I've already got it directed to that. I've done this before, obviously, but I'm doing it to show you how to do it. Um, I will name the file. And you must put in the MP3 extension. Otherwise, I think you will have problems with that. I had problems because I forgot to do that earlier. So you then render your file, and it happens really quick. So then I will go into my I'll go into my finder, go to my video drive, go into my work folder, which is only for, I keep that folder empty except for whatever project I'm working on at the time, and then I'll save the files to another folder if I need to keep all the working files. I will drag this MP3 into here. I don't need this anymore. So, obviously I'll drag my audio down to the timeline and create a new audio track. Uh, there we go. And when I play it back, oh, let's see. When I play it back, it's not going to be in sync. 
Hello everybody, this is RK Brown. I normally do a vi Actually, if I pull it completely against the wall there, we'll study on this channel, but I thought you can I see that it's not in sync, right? That will help people because I So, what I will do to solve that problem is I will go into Fairlight and I'm going to turn it into a mono track because it's it's mono. I don't need for it to be stereo. I'll turn it into a mono track and that way I can better see the waveform. So I'm going to zoom wide and then I'm going to put the cursor obviously at the beginning of the track and zoom out a little bit. Not yeah, about right there. And then you have to move the cursor over to somewhere around the beginning of the file. And then you're going to have to zoom out even more. And the reason you're going to have to zoom out even more is because you need to be able to make subtle moves with this with this audio here. And if you don't zoom out, you won't be able to make the, the right kind of move. So now I will drag this audio. And you see the waveform. I'll drag it somewhere in the vicinity of where it needs to be. And then I will move the cursor over to, let's say right, oh, let's say right here. Move it there. I mean, it's really a fine line. It's it's a fine thing. Hello, everybody. This is R.K. Brown. I normally do a Bible study on this channel, but I thought I might make a video that will help people. Because but you can I hear that my audio struggle. You can hear that my audio is now in line. So now I'll come back over to the timeline, the video timeline. Drag that back there and mute the old audio and play back the new audio. Hello everybody, this is R.K. Brown. I normally do a Bible study on this channel, but I thought I might make a video that will help people because I... And I think that audio, the reason it played back like that, I think is just because it, of probably I'm using resources. Hello everybody, this is R.K. Brown. I normally do a Bible study on this channel, but I thought I might make a video that will help people because I've had this struggle for a week or so, and I figured out a way to solve the problem. It just hit me yesterday. And so I thought I might do that instead of make a Bible class tonight. And I just need to keep talking in order to show you how terrible this audio actually sounds and how I'm going to replace this audio. And so there you go. That's how you replace audio and remove unwanted audio. I hope this video helped. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch my Bible class, and uh, that would be cool. That would be much appreciated. So um, that is all. God bless you. Have a great day.